Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today I have a Stamp Timber exclusive. This is the 2022 Simon Says Stamp Limited Edition Card Kit. This is a special card kit in addition to the monthly card kit. So this is something that Simon Says Stamp does during Stamp Timber every year and it's an incredible value. I'm going to show you what you get. You get a, a mesh bag. The zipper color will vary. Um, you're going to get some beautiful paper rose rainbow poppies pattern paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. A new stamp set. This is the poppy stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. Some poppy 6x6 six six inch layering stencils from Simon Says Stamp. An adhesive sheet. Some amazing white envelopes. These are my favorite for stenciling. Some rainbow holographic cardstock. Some A2 sized card fronts. Look at all the colors you get. This is amazing. You're going to get some great um, glazes there. Some sentiment strips. This rainbow die, a positively everything tool, and some alphabet stickers, some Nina cardstock, two sheets of the 110 pound weight cardstock. And I'm hoping, oh, a craft glue stick. Um, amazing. It's a really great kit. So I am just going to show you a tiny bit of what you can create with this kit today. I did take some of the white cardstock in the kit. I cut it down to A2 size. And then I am going to ink this with some sage and pine inks from Simon Says Stamp. These are amazing inks. They blend beautifully. I can't say enough great things about this Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks. And I am taking the first stencil in this set and I am stenciling the design on my cardstock. I really feel, I, you can probably start with any of the stencils you want. I did start with these stems as I feel like it really helps guide where my flowers are going to go. And you can kind of play around with it and decide for yourself what you like best there but this did tend to work for me and if you get some of your poppy color of ink over the green it's pretty easy with this dark pine color of ink to go back over it which is what i am going to do and kind of fix anything that maybe isn't perfect so now you're going to build your poppies and what I found worked really good was to take my two stencils, the one I'm going to use next and lay it under the one I just used, line up the one I just used, and you can very easily figure out right where that needs to go. I am using the tonic magnetic mat to hold my stencil down. I've had a few questions about this recently. I love it because it doesn't really require pixie spray. Pixie spray is great. You could also completely use this like on the waffle flower stencil mat. Um, that, that would work great as well. Um, you could use pixie spray on the back of your stencils. There's lots of options. I've really just been enjoying this as it's kind of a, a less mess type of um stenciling for me it's very the the magnets are really super strong i love it so um it's worked really really well i am using mandarin and grapefruit i believe now i'm going to tell you guys wrong hold on peachy i'm so sorry peachy and mandarin inks this is one of the orange color combinations from Simon Says Stamp, and I love these together. I really looked through my ink swatches. Um, if you haven't seen my ink swatching video, I will link it at the end of this one, showing all of the Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks that are currently available. And I looked at my ink swatches, trying to pick a color that I really liked. Now, you do not have to stick to a quote unquote poppy color. You could completely go check out the pattern papers in the kit and be inspired. They have rainbow poppies. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be beautiful? Um, there are a lot of different ways to do this. I kind of went for more of the traditional look and I really, really love how it turned out. Here's where I'm going to fix that leaf, by the way, where I just went back to my first stencil and I'm just going to put a little more of that pine ink there and kind of make my leaf a little darker. Oh, I love it so much. 
Now before I go and clean my stencils, I'm going to take one of those envelopes from the kit and we are going to stencil that envelope really quick. I just went ahead and did that off camera to save a little time. Then we're going to take some of this gold glitz glimmer here product that you get in your glitter gel, pardon me, get in your uh, kit and I'm going to put my stencil back and I'm going to make the center of my poppies a little glittery. I love how it looks over the charcoal ink that I used for the flower centers. Love that little bit of glitz and glimmer added to the card. Once it's completely dry, I am going to place my background in a misty, and I am going to take the Friendship Text Background Stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I know I've used this multiple times. This is one of my favorite looks. It's something I do a lot, um, but I, I feel like it's one of those things or one of those techniques that works for a lot of different cards. And for me, I love a light text background. So I did stamp it off once. I am using the sage ink here, the lightest color in that trio to stamp this in a nice light green all over. Um, and I'm just gonna stamp that friendship text all over the background. The flowers still take center stage, but the text just gives it a little bit of a, a, a grungy look. I'm going to take my blending tool then. I'm just going to use a small one and that sage ink and I am very lightly going to go around the edges and distress it just a little bit. This adds so much interest to a background. It is, like I said, probably one of my top five favorite techniques for a card. Anytime I'm looking for a fun background idea, my go-to is some sort of text, whether it be a text like this or a grungy uh, kind of textbook or book type of background, something like that. Using those A2 panels that you get in the kit, even if you don't want to use these as quote unquote panels for your cards, you get like every color of the rainbow of cardstock. If you're like me and you're always stamping sentiment strips and you like sentiment strips that are not on white cardstock, I highly recommend uh, trying stamping your elements on these and die cutting them into strips or trimming them into strips and using them for cards. I absolutely love this product. I kind of think it's one of those underrated products. You get all of these small panels of the rainbow of cardstock and you can use it on so many different things. I am going to use the dark brown, I think it's chocolate, if I'm not mistaken, cardstock. Um, I'm going to stamp one of my greetings from that Poppy's 6x8 stamp set included in the kit on there. The other phrase I'm going to stamp on this dark orange I clearly picked my cardstock colors uh, to kind of match my card. I liked how the brown looked rather than black. I kind of thought I'd go for black, but the dark brown um, really looked nice. So I went ahead and went with that one. I just kind of laid them out next to my panel. I am heat embossing these with white embossing powder and then using the sentiment labels dies from my stash to die cut these into strips. As much as I could, I use components from the kit for my card, and I just kind of supplemented like with a background stamp, with the sentiment label dies, and then I will do a few embellishments from my stash to kind of round it out, and we'll talk about that when we get to decorating. I'm going to pop up my sentiment labels with foam adhesive, I am going to use my favorite T-square ruler from Simon Says Stamp to help me line up where those go. I love this T-square ruler. If you want to get things straight on your cards, this is a go-to and a must-have. I absolutely love it. So there's my first one. And then the second one, it was straight. It just wasn't straight with the top sentiment. So I had to pull it off and fix it. But that sometimes happens. I like how the dark brown looks. I feel like it really stands out. And I also like the orange. I could have done them in the same color as well, but I was just kind of playing around and having a good time with this. Yeah, that's not lined up. Let's try again. Oh, I love it. I love the matching envelope. So much fun. I think making a whole set of these would be amazing, like a gift set. Um, you could do a whole bunch of these cards, maybe in a rainbow of colors. I'm going to take this little coffee bean heart accent from Trinity Stamps and pop it underneath. 
definitely to bring a little more of that brown in. And then Pretty Pink Posh has new colors of pearls. I believe five new colors of pearls in their September release. And I actually had these out from another project that I had worked on. And funny enough, I thought, oh, these match my card perfectly. And I don't think I ended up using the green. I actually think I used all of the orange color and I'm not calling the right color. The actual color is linked down in the description below, but I love it. I thought it turned out amazing. It adds just the, the right little touch. Now, as I'm looking at my card though, I feel like it needs a little something else. And in this case, it's going to be a little butterfly in our flower garden. I stamped this butterfly image from the field of Poppy 6x8 stamp set that we took our sentiments from using black Hero Arts Intensified black ink. I'm coloring it in with Copic markers. These marker colors are listed in the description down below. I did these yellow reds. This tends to be one of my favorite color combinations kind of a lot of times, but especially kind of in the fall. And I felt like the yellow would really pop nicely with the green and kind of orangey red of our poppies. We're going to die cut this. I did use the scan and cut. I believe that there are going to be coordinating dies, although I'm not exactly sure. They will be an additional purchase and don't come in the kit. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, but you can um, die cut that or fussy cut it and then I'm going to pop it up with foam adhesive kind of hanging out here on top of our poppy garden. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight for this Simon Says Stamp limited edition 2022 card kit. The supplies I use to create my card and envelope are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is a video featuring swatching all of the Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel hit the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.